Okay, the project for today, or probably more like a week, uh, this cylinder on my uh, front end loader is leaking right there. Hydraulic fluid was leaking out of there pretty good when I had a load on it. So what I'm gonna do is take this cylinder off and um, basically try to rebuild it. So I'll share some pictures and maybe some more videos uh, through that process. Okay, I finally got this part of it out. Try to show you which, there's a thin, really thin black gasket there. That metal ring that kind of expands. You can see right there where it's split. Then you've got the orange band and a thick uh, rubber O-ring. And those three pieces, I believe, are right there. And then this is, this is the tool that you have to put inside um, inside this part to get it get the whole thing out. That goes in that groove. You can see a little groove right there. Um, there's a this is tapered. I don't know if you can see that. So that that tapered side on the left would go toward the inside of that uh, that sleeve. And that allows that allows this uh, expansion ring to slide past that groove, and it comes out. And then I've got this, which is different than all the videos I've seen. So, and then this is the other end. I got to take that bolt off, and I'm sure there's uh, O-rings and things that go on the inside of this. Well, probably not the inside of this, but uh, probably on the inside of this one. So I got to finish taking that apart and see if I can figure that out. Okay, so I had to hook this thing back up to the tractor. So that uh, would hold that T piece so I could crank on this nut here and take this off. I think this was a 29 millimeter, which I did not have that size wrench or socket. So I used the old adjust bore wrench and I didn't even have to put a cheater bar on it because it wasn't torqued down that tight so this piece just slides off that's just a chunk of aluminum nothing on the inside of that and then this metal sleeve that slides over it there's nothing on the inside of that either it's just a sleeve so now take this off on the inside of that. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Okay. If you can see that or not. Looks like there's a groove in there. I'm going to have to look at that without holding the phone so I can see. So I'm sure that there's a couple of gaskets or O-rings on the inside of there too. So and I think they are right there okay until the next video okay so this is what I ended up with this is that uh, chunk of aluminum that goes on the end where the nut holds it on so this rubber o-ring goes on first and then this plastic ring goes on top of that in this groove and in the kit they sent um, two sets of these this one both of these are are too thin and so the ones that are thicker are the ones that go in here uh, and you can just compare the size of the one you took out to the one you're going to put in um, <clears throat> this piece it goes on top of the o-ring in that groove i had to cut that um, with a utility knife to get that out but everything else, I use basically these two um, pick sets. That one was really useful, and that curved one. And I actually had to use the uh, needle nose pliers too. 
to pull pull some of them out. Um, unfortunately, these are cheap Harbor Freight brand, and my other I had another one I was using that bent. So if you have stronger ones, that would be better for this project. So these two go in this piece. And then these two go inside. I think this is called the gland. I might be wrong on that. Um, and then these three go on the outside in that order. So that, that skinny O-ring goes there. And then the plastic piece goes in this next groove. And then the other O-ring goes right beside the plastic ring in that last groove. So I'm gonna put those in. I'm not sure how difficult it's gonna to be to get these ones on the inside. I, I kind of expect that to be a problem. But when I get done with that, uh, we'll reassemble it. Okay, we got the uh, O-rings and other rings back on there. I got everything slid back on, ready to assemble. And from what I understand, you need to put a thread locker on this. because it can work loose or it does on some occasions. Oh, we got a little too much on here. Tighten that down, put that sleeve on there, roll everything up and test it. Okay, we're all done. We got the parts replaced. We tested it. It's working. And it's holding a little bit of weight, not a lot. There's probably about 50 gallons of water in there. So I was squirting hydraulic fluid out of right here when I had this on it before. So hopefully it's fixed now. Thanks for watching.